and welcome to Project Home DIY. I'm Christine, your owner and curator of your Project Home boxes. Let's get started with our Explore project, the highly anticipated. So I'm going to unbox, but before I do that, I want to go over and make sure you have everything you're going to need for this project. You will need gloves if you worry about getting a stain on your hands, so make sure you have some gloves, a tape measure, a rag to clean up, and some extra rags for um, staining. So just some junk rags and also an X-Acto knife. You will also need a screwdriver, a Phillips, or a plus as I like to say, uh, a Phillips screwdriver. So make sure you have that. So those are your extra things that you will need, your household items. And let's open our box. brand new with us you will have your starter kit inside that includes your essential items for this project and many future projects there are there's a glue gun glue sticks um, paint or paintbrush and sanding block we will be using all of these products in this project so make sure you get out the glue gun and get it plugged in you're gonna find bubble wrap up oh, tape let's see we have our paint and uh, stain and push pins super cute little jar for to keep and a the men or the hanging wire or excuse me it's called a D-ring bracket, this little guy. We have one of those to hang. And you'll find wood. Four pieces. Your explore word. Map, which is double-sided for those of you that like to stay a little closer to home. Our mending plates. So these would be used to secure the pieces of wood together at the end of the project. So those will be set aside with this little guy. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and I will keep my box handy because um, when I stain, I will use it. And also any paper filler that you get is good to keep your table nice and clean. So here's your map. We will set that aside for later. Don't worry about the folds in it. Don't worry about any of that. It will add to the project and I purposely have that done. Okay, so we have our three um, pieces there. And you know what? I just called this paint, but it is not paint. It's decoupage, so be careful. It's not white ivory paint. It's decoupage and we will use this to secure the map on. All right, so set your explore word to the side <clears throat> and we'll get started on the wood. So you'll notice that one piece of the wood has a Project Home DIY logo. That can be placed anywhere on the back, doesn't matter at all. If you didn't get one that says that on it, that's okay too, it's not the end of the world, just a logo. So just set out your boards <clears throat> as if you were to, um, put it together, but we're not going to quite put it together just yet. We are going to stain first because that gives the edges a really nice look behind the map. And then once we sand off the edges of the map, that stained color will show through and it looks awesome. So first we're going to stain, do that, and then um, we'll let our stain set up and then we will add the map. So let's get to staining. Okay, I'll finish staining. Put the lid on your stain and throw away everything that has stain on it. 
and those <clears throat> stain boards will have to dry and um, really set up and get the stain clean or um, dry before we can begin with the Mod Podge process. So go ahead and make sure that those dry at least for an hour though until when you touch them no stain will come off on your fingers or else you'll just have a mess with your fingers and icky dirty. So let those dry completely and then once um, they're ready to go we can start the Mod Podge process. If you do have a heater it is um, much faster to put those in front of a small like space heater and turn it on just low heat, give it some air, some circulation, and heat as well will help cure that stain. So come back after that process is dry and ready and we'll start the next. All right, back with our dry boards. So we're going to put the Mod Podge on, the decoupage on the board. So make sure that you're working on the face up side it shouldn't really matter too much. If there's any bit of a bow in your boards, just kind of use that side face up. So then it bows towards the wall or cups towards the wall. So what I mean by that is when wood is cut, obviously a tree is round. And so sometimes you'll have cupping that happens in the board because of the grain of the wood. So if that happens, just you can see it right here, it's a tiny bit cupped maybe just face that board down flat like that with the, so this will be our map side and then our back side is on the back. So you don't have to have these just perfect for this process, but um, as you can see, we're not going to um, screw them together just yet because we do have a couple processes to do in between that. So go ahead and take your decoupage and this does need to be pretty quick because it will dry. So just dip, just like you're painting. Get it on all the boards, especially the ends. And don't do too much because again, you're putting this um, paper on this. So you don't wanna like soak your paper, but you do want to have enough to keep it down. You can do this if you don't like the map design you can do this with any kind of paper any kind of scrapbook paper anything that you have that you want permanently on <clears throat> the sign you can do it that way too i've done this with our family pictures um, i've taken those and mod podged them onto wood blocks and done the exact same technique and I just love it. So just make sure your Mod Podge is on there evenly. There's no dry spots coming through. I got chunks of stuff in mine but I'm getting it out. There we go. Even, even, even. Okay this is where you have to for sure have them lined up because you're going to put the map on. Um, make sure that you decide which side of the map you want to use, whether that be the United States side or the world. And straighten out those creases if you can. And then go ahead and place it on there. I just thought of it. I already have a world one done. I should have done this one, the United States one. I'm going to. I'm going to peel it off. I have another map right here. Totally. I'm going to put just a tiny bit more decoupage since I peeled off that first one and I do want this to stick. But I still think it's enough. Moving kind of quick here, sorry. Change of plans. In the middle of it, I just love the world map, so that's what I always think of. But I need to do a United States one too. 
You can also order a second kit in our store if they're available for purchase and maybe do a United States side for yourself too. Okay, there it is. All right. Okay. So keep your wood together and the map will have to overlap over the edges just a little bit, but that's okay. See how I'm lining it up down here. it's going to be over just a little bit right there that's okay that one's over and it's actually not perfectly placed but that's totally okay it will um you won't even notice once we start sanding it so now once this is down and on got your four pieces of wood take your exacto knife and cut right through it. There's one. There's two. I should have had a sharper blade. Oops. Definitely should have a sharper blade. Get some that peel up a little bit. That's okay too. Okay, now double check your mat on all the edges if it's adhering well. If it's peeling up a little bit, take a little bit of decoupage right there. Stick it back down. You want those corners to be nice and sturdy and stuck well when you see right here when you go to sand it we don't want those to come up but the corners and the ends are really hard to get decoupage on for some reason so it's a very fast process because decoupage does dry quickly so it's a little stressful because we do go so quickly. Okay. Do not worry about your map like doing fraying or any of that. Don't worry about that. We'll fix it. It's supposed to look old, it's supposed to look rustic, it's not supposed to look perfect, so don't worry about that. Okay, now just set your map face down and make sure that there's no um, decoupage on the table you set it down or else your map face is going to stick to it, which you don't want that to happen. See like right here, there's some, so I'm going to put this one up here. Okay, so we'll set our uh, Mod Podge boards down, face down, and let them sit until they are completely dry. You can also put them in front of a heater to dry faster. Mod Podge does dry really quickly, as you just saw. So um, in front of a heater, just set them up and they will dry perfectly. Once they are dry, <clears throat> we can begin the sanding process. If you have a hand, an electric hand sander, this will go much faster. But if you don't, your sanding block will work for this just fine. Um, <clears throat> it'll just take a little bit more work. But what you're going to do is sand all four edges and you're sanding off the paper um, just around the edges a little bit. It creates just a worn look. Um, if you like the old look, old rustic look, this is the perfect thing. So um, this is how it'll make it look like an old, old antique type of thing. So um, if you do have any pieces still coming up, 
on the edges, just check those. If they get caught when you're sanding, you could peel them up and tear the map, but don't worry, just glue it back down and it will be just fine. Um, you can cut your extra edges off or just sand them off. <clears throat> So you can see I sanded that off a little bit right there. I do have an edge coming up just a tiny bit right there. I will glue that back down, but I'm going to be very careful sanding over it right there by holding it. Our map is all sanded. You can assemble it into, whoa, what in the world? Okay, I mean, what in the United States, not the world, because this is just the United States one. Okay, so there's our put together map. Oh, I did notice that edge. Coming up just a tiny bit. Okay, if you like the way your map looks and you don't want to do any more sanding, we can move on to the uh, mending plate part. But make sure that if you want more sanded on the inside, especially, that it's done now. Because once it's mended together, you can always take it apart. But it's just easier to do it now. Because um, you're not going to be able to sand in here. You can, of course, sand the edges once it's done and mended, but not the inside. So make sure that you, do, you like the look of how it looks right now. And then let's flip over each board. Make sure you're using a clean surface so your map doesn't get damaged on the front. I learned that the hard way on my first one. My map stuck to the table. But you know what? You can't even tell. Right here, it happened. And I took a teeny bit of light blue paint and dabbed in. Can't even tell. It's just ways of being creative. Okay, so we're going to take our mending plates. <clears throat> You'll notice the mending plates, look at both sides of them. The screws need to go in the side with a deviated hole because then it can be flush with the mending plate. If you do it on the side where there's no deviation, that the um, screw head will not countersink. So we, and we want it to be countersunk. So these mending plates will adhere together three boards at a time. We're gonna place them on there about like that. So these bottom plates will go in 
about two and a half inches from the side. And the top plates will go in five inches from each side. Right there. Okay, so that's how it evenly spins. These will go in five from each side and these will go in two and a half from each side. Okay, is that right? Yep, two and a half. Okay, and the important thing here is to make sure that you have this hole and this hole is on these far end boards. If it's like this, this board is not going to be attached right there. So make sure that you have those lined up correctly. Just refer to the instructions with this exact layout picture on it, okay? All right, now we're gonna take our little screws and get started. You can um, put in one, don't worry about all of it having to stay perfectly aligned when you're putting in the very first ones. It's really important that they stay aligned when and squished together fully when you are mending three boards together. So now this first one doesn't really matter, but now I'm gonna do this one and that's gonna be super important to keep those together. So just hold them nice and tight. That one's good. I'm going to use a drill for the rest of it, just for the sake of time. If you have a drill, go ahead and use it. Okay, mending plates are screwed in. Now, one last thing for the back is to take your little D-ring bracket, measure halfway, so it's gonna be at nine inches. Right there, so I like to put the tip, the point of it right at the nine. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and screw that little guy in. Super heavy duty. These mending plates aren't going anywhere. I do notice I have a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to reverse that. I'm going to cinch it in tight against my body. And you can angle the screw a little bit. So I'm going in at an angle like that to pull that piece of wood in. So I'm going to angle that screw in and it'll get rid of that gap. Wood does shrink and go back together, so you can and will maybe see some shrinking. Um, if your gaps get too big, just take it apart, move the mending plates over a little bit so you don't drop your screws right in the same screw holes. Um, move them over a little bit and put them sink or squish them all back together and do it, re redo it. Here in Wyoming, that's where we are at, um, it's super dry climate, so when we get wood, it cracks and it shrinks and it everything because there's so little moisture in the air, especially in our winter months. So we do see this a lot and this does happen a lot, but we can, you can just put it right back together, but it also really doesn't affect the look of your sign. There's that. Now 
you can choose where to put your explore word wherever you want. I, I know it covers up the word United States. Um, when I designed this map, it was very hard <laughs> to get the right coloring and all of it. Um, so just, I know some of these will be in the way for your pegs, but just make do, you know, maybe put it up here in Canada, maybe off the side of the board, whatever works for you. Just make it yours. I did add a little um, special thing on the map. We are in Wyoming and you will see right where we were at. We live right outside of Yellowstone National Park. So we're 50 miles away from Yellowstone in the town of Cody. And I put Project Home DIY wording right on your map. Little tidbit, little secret hidden treasure in there. But I personally think I'm going to put my explore word right here along this bottom. And the way you do this, just using your hot glue and just tack it on a little bit. And once it's on, it's on because if you peel it off, it will peel up your map. So don't peel it on and off. You can also choose to um, paint this. I liked the natural wood color with our stained wood sides. So I left it unpainted, but you can paint yours. Then you may start pinning away. Can't wait to see where you get to explore in 2020. Join us next time, March, where we definitely get to get our build on. See you then. Bye.